from Baltimore, Maryland, here is the undefeated USBA heavyweight champion, Hasim the Rock Rockman. Let's get ready to rumble! Sean Curtin's got to stop this fight. There's blood flying all over the place. Down he goes. Defeated USPA heavyweight champion. When I, when I box, when I fight, I man, that's my job. I'm going to get hit. My thing is, I'm just trying to cut down on getting hit. And I'm trying to hit them more than they hit me. I'm going to do everything in my power. I'm gonna exhaust my resources not to, not to lose the fight. I can't afford that bad night. That bad night for me has to be in practice. That bad night has to be in the gym. If I was training you, if I was training to fight you, I would train diligently, I would train hard. I, I, I just can't afford to get caught short. I can't have that bad day. The New York Yankees in 96, they lost the first two games and then came back and, and won the World Series. That's the equivalent of me losing the first two rounds. That's about the extent of what I can do. I can't, have, I can't lose two fights in the world. Can't tag team. I can't say, okay, well, I'm tired now. You, you go ahead and do these next three rounds, and then I'll come in for the, the last three. These people have friends, too. These people have friends that want to see them. They want to see them just as well as you want to see me knock him out. Their friends want to see them knock me out. Their friends don't want to see them get hit. Their friends have concerns, well, oh, you fighting Rockman? Oh, man. I mean, they don't want to see these people get hurt. These people got people that love them, too. I mean, you could very well have been David's friend. The older guys I used to hang around with sometimes used to drink and smoke marijuana, smoke cigarettes. I used to always want to be, be down with them, but I wasn't willing to be that down. So I used to go. When they used to go to the bars and get their 40s and their Mad Dog or whatever, I used to get me an orange sun kissed and a Snickers and hang out with them. So they just respected me for what I would and wouldn't do. And they allowed me, when they laughed and had the munchies, I laughed with them and got more Snickers and Doritos or whatever. <laughs> Children, when they get certain ages, they, they need to be around their dads and they need to learn because if you don't, if you don't teach them, somebody's going to teach them. If you want them to know the right way, you need to teach them yourself. And you need, to, you need to, to make that time for them. If you put money before your family, that's wrong. If you got time to work this job for extra money, then you got time to put that, that time in with your, your family because it's priceless and you will never get it back. My son, when I do my sit-ups, he does his sit-ups. When I do push-ups, he does push-ups. And I mean, he does that. And when I run, he, he jogs with me. But I don't have to worry about nobody putting them in over his head or somebody. I mean, because boxing is a, a vicious sport. So all these, all these knockouts, somebody's child got knocked out. I don't have all these knockouts for nothing. Somebody's child got knocked out. Yeah. Somebody's child get. I mean, it's not all glory. It's somebody's getting beat up. You can't get closer to anybody than your mom. I mean, I feel like that's the key to, to heaven. You take care of your mom and anything you can do. I mean, anything my mom, I mean, she can call anytime. Whatever I'm doing, it's done. He hails from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland. I mean, I'd rather be in Baltimore than any other place. Anywhere else don't, doesn't feel like home. And if we all stick together, we can do anything any of these larger cities can do. The Orioles was all my, always my team. They will always be my team, whether they win or lose. But I'm going to be disappointed with them sometimes as it was this year, but, you know, they're still my team, and they get the World Series next year. I mean, we just need to get behind it, our own and give them 100% support. Let them know he's from Baltimore. We behind him, 100%. When people say Evander Holyfield, he, Evander Holyfield went to school with people. He was somebody's next-door neighbor. He's somebody's cousin. He's somebody's brother. He was somebody's friend. I mean, it's not out of the realm of knowing these people, and it's, and it's nothing out of the realm that you can't do. You can do anything you put your mind to. 
and that's you, me, and whoever. And I just, I just don't think there's no goal unattainable. He was in an accident five years ago. His a car hit the truck that he was in. He was thrown from the truck. Then the truck fell on top of him. Side of his face was essentially ripped off. It was a miracle. There was no further damage. They had to cut him out of the truck. Friend was killed in the accident. And I was conscious the whole time. Took me to the hospital. Gave me like maybe five, six hundred stitches. They wouldn't think I'm on the sport. I don't think they thought I would ever compete in sports, let alone boxing, maybe track and field, maybe swimming. I just believe I was put here for a purpose. And I think being the heavyweight champion in the world was part of that. When, I, when, when it's all said and done, and my life is exactly the way I want it, and I'm right with my Lord, and people, if, any, if I can get one person to follow in my footsteps, then I've, I feel as though I've had a very successful life. I just feel like I have everything on the line. And um, I'm not willing to let it go. And we say there's certain comparisons to Tyson and Robert at the dangerous right hand. It's one of the best in the division. Now, seeing Rockman, though, is the best young, undefeated heavyweight. From Baltimore, Maryland, has seen.